Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 29-28, and 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Nine Yard Showdown! She's the very first female Chinese fighter to be signed by the UFC. Yan Xiaonan has taken the UFC strawweight division by storm, coming in at number three in the women's strawweight division rankings. Today, we're taking a look at the life and career of the UFC rising star Yan Xiaonan. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA. Xiaonan began training in martial arts by the age of 13 and started her professional MMA career in 2009. The strawweight fighter developed a 7-1 record before she was signed on to the UFC. In her UFC debut, Xiaonan would take on Caitlin Curran at UFC Fight Night. The fight went on every round, but Yan seemed to have no problem displaying dominance in every exchange. Right. Oh, nice counter right from Yan Xiaonan. And she splits Curran's guard yet again on top. Beautiful, mixing it up. Well, you can see why this was the first female Chinese fighter signed by the UFC. Yan came out the winner by unanimous decision. Yan came back at another UFC fight night to take on Vivian Pereira, who was replacing Zhao Nan's original opponent due to injury. Oh, that was nice. Pereira onto those inside low kicks and the jabs. Well, here they go. They're going to give it a go. Give the fans a little more in the last few seconds. Beautiful. Really, really fun exchange at the end of the fight there. Jan had a reach advantage in this matchup, and Pereira wasn't capable of closing the distance in any significant way. Jan came out once again with a victory by unanimous decision. At the next UFC fight night, Xiao Nan faced Japanese fighter Siuri Kondo. The fight went all three rounds with Yan dominating every round and coming out with a win by unanimous decision. Xiaonan knows that if she takes a punch, she's in range to land her own and just continues her combination. And you can see her using feints here. She's really getting the crowd on her side as well tonight. Four punch combination there for Xiaonan. Looking for elbows now as she closes the distance. Nice front kick to the midsection from Kondo. Still, she's throwing single shots to Xiao Nan's 3-4 combination. Like a buzzsaw. Yeah, she is a cannon of aggression, isn't she? <laughs> Finally, at UFC 238, Xiao Nan would face one of the bigger names in the UFC's women's strongweight division, Angela Hill. In the first round, Hill was able to take Yan down a couple times. But Yan was able to defend herself long enough to make it to the next round. Red, Angela Hill retreating oh, in black. Nice side kick to the chest. Yan shot on. Look at how she attacks. Oh, yeah, she's going after it now. She's so ferocious. She but so is Angela Hill. I think she's got Angela hurt. She understands that she may have lost that round with that submission attempt. And has to really bring the fight to Angela. In the second and third rounds, Yan was able to land more significant strikes than Hill and ended up with a unanimous decision victory. It was after this that COVID struck, and Yan and her team moved to Thailand to train while there were significant outbreaks in China. Yan would then take on Karolina Kowalkiewicz at UFC Fight Night. Karolina's really struggling with her eyes. She keeps wiping at it. Now she looks for a, for a takedown here, but Yan Xiaonan managed to stay on her feet. She's given the body lock. Xiaonan. Oh, nice work from Yan Xiaonan. Early in the first round, Yan landed a hook that gave Carolina impaired vision for the rest of the fight. For the rest of the rounds, Yan was able to land huge strikes and takedowns and came out the clear winner. For her sixth fight in the UFC, Yan would take on Claudia Gedalia at UFC on ESPN. This would be Yan's first fight against a top five ranked opponent. She will wow you with volume and pressure. Gedalia just misses with the counter. Nice jab by Jan. And Jan Xiaonan would like nothing more than to rise high enough as Gedalia lands to challenge her countrywoman, Zhang Wei Li, for the UFC Strongweight title. Mike 
just be two or three wins away now. Despite Gedalia's takedowns, Jan showed great defense and was able to land more significant strikes. This got Jan the win by unanimous decision. There's a lot of talk about what Jan Zhaonan's future in the UFC will look like. She's been undefeated since 2010 and is well on her way to a championship bout. I guess we'll see how Jan does when she takes on Carla Esparza at UFC Fight Night 188. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more great fights and fighters. This is Ultimate MMA.